Good evening, tasters. Nevla here again with another nightcap night. We're rocking through them and it's, it's great fun. Tonight, I want to talk about this blended malt Scotch whisky, supposedly from Speyside, and it's called Copper Dog. Let me read you the blurb on the back. In years long past, distillery workers would help themselves to a dram using a copper dog, a pipe hidden inside the leg of their trousers. These Speyside rascals and characters are the inspiration for this unique blend of no fewer than eight single malt whiskies, slowly married together in old oak casks. Well, that all sounds great. That's a fabulous story. Let's see what the whiskey's like. I bought this on special about a month and a half ago. Copper Dog. I paid uh, about $45 for it, so... Well, the colour is uh, quite a dark straw colour. And a uh, few legs there. What is it? 40% alcohol. Can't get a lot on the nose, probably because it's cold. Here in Tasmania at the moment, we're past the, the shortest day. And of course, once that happens, the cold starts to really sock in. So this is our coldest period. Yeah, maybe a little bit of toffee apple and a cereal note, something like perhaps wheat bix. Well, that's that's a bit aggressive and it's quite spicy. There's a, a bit of vanilla there and maybe some orange peel and a hint of chocolate. It's, it's very oaky and drying. And there's a, a little bit of bitterness there. And, and sometimes the bitterness can be pleasant, but this is actually not the most pleasant bitterness that I've tasted in a whiskey. This is a bit disappointing. All right, so I didn't pay a lot for it. It seemed like a good story, but unfortunately the whiskey's lacking a bit in substance. There is much better out there in the blended malt range, particularly from a company called Com Compass Box. Um, anyway, I've been sucked in by good yarn and uh, maybe I'll learn from it. This stuff will probably end up in rusty nails and it'd probably be good value for that. All the best.